Hi everyone, just type a Y in the text chat if you can hear me. Okay, I've got one so far. Has it, can it, everyone hear me just so I'm clear? Okay, yeah, everyone can hear me, awesome. Well, welcome to today's free webinar on what dark energies are and how to clear them, everyone. So how are we all feeling today? Gail, good, a bit tired. Uh, yeah. Well, at least well, at least you're feeling good there, Gail. And good thing you you come for the clearing to raise your energy up a bit. So now, without further ado, let's get into today's webinar. Now, I mean, uh, type a Y in the text chat if you've heard of net dark energies, or if you have a basic understanding of what they are. Yep, Gail does. Okay. And when you've been on this spiritual journey for a little while, then you would have a basic understanding at least or know what it is at the very least. So the way to think of dark energies are like dark, like black waves almost. So we've all seen the light waves. We've seen the ocean waves and stuff like that. But dark energies are different. It's like what it's basically waves, but in a misused and a more evil kind of way. Because when we have the light waves and frequency waves, they raise our energy up and draw us closer to God. Whereas the dark ones, by contrast, they drain your energy, they deplete your energy levels. And all they do is disconnect you from God and your own self. And they just um, want to mold you into being their slave, basically, being their bitch, so to speak. So when it comes to dark energies, you do not want to underestimate them. Because it's all good and all to say we have God on our side and we, we've got the light. And then it's true. With, with God, I mean, we can defeat any evil and prevail. But the trouble is, if the moment you underestimate the dark, the dark energies and fall into ego, then that's when they can strike you. Because God will see that and then God will be like, okay, you're stuck in ego. So now it's time for them to have some fucking fun with you. So then when that so then when that happens, the dark energies will then wipe you out and you'll be wiped out very fast. You'll you'll be depleted of energy or you'll have like an it manifests an injury or an illness and something catastrophic from it. Because I mean uh, when when I once went through a stage of underestimating them a little bit. Well, I certainly paid the price for that one. I mean, my energy levels were completely wiped out. And I felt I got really sick. And uh, ultimately, my life was basically hell until I, until I dealt with that. And until I cleared that, until I did the clearing around the ego and really saw the true power of what the dark can actually do. Because, I mean, the dark, the trouble is, as I mentioned, the moment we underestimate and, and basically have that superiority complex, that's when we fall into trouble. And that, because the dark energies have had all kinds of devastating effects. So there's the depleted energy or there's health issues, a breakdown of relationships, breakdown of family, family unit and also chaotic in the mind and just examples like this. So just type in the text chat where, um, where in your life that dark energies have affected you before. Just type in the text chat whereabouts in your life the dark energies have affected you. Gail, all of those mentioned. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you're not the only one, it's very common. Dark energies tend to affect every area of people's life. It tends to go into all angles. And Lily said health, relationships. <laughs> yes, and again, common ones, because they can, they can manifest accidents, illnesses, and with relationships, they can manifest toxicities and uh, the partner you don't want. And also like a break and the breakdown, even if you have a good partner, it can do all kinds of bad shit like that. So ultimately you want to be controlling your own energy field and your own energy space, because if you don't, then the dark energies will, 
and but the way that they come in is by invitation so i mean um, if you whether you invite them in consciously or unconsciously it will still come into you because you not only can create it yourself but you can also have it placed into you by witches by wizards and by darker spirits by dark beings so they have that capability of injecting it into you as well like a poison and like i mentioned you'll you'll definitely know if you have them and um they're very much linked up with curses because i mean dark energies that's what they are then they're, they're, they're like a curse because i mean when we are in the light and when we're with god then we'll receive blessings whereas as soon as we're fallen into dark it's it's a curse and curses are also created unintentionally most of the time now some of them are intended but but not a whole lot by and large it it's accidental i mean because you could even be just lying in bed if some and if you are emotionally charged towards someone and then you could think maybe something like just while you're lying in bed just oh man i hope they lose all their money tomorrow and then bingo you may find that they all lost all their fucking money so these are very much real they're not sci-fi um as we've all been finding out and even even movies like lucy and limitless and the matrix have shown the possibilities and the capabilities that we are that we can actually do if we just open our mind if we really come out of this matrix clear that negative energy so, and stuff like that so really the way to clear that is by um, ultimately coming back to the light and and really going back into yourself taking control taking charge of your own fucking life and not not being reliant on the system or reliant on other people because that's when you fall into trouble and that's when you fall into disempowerment and basically i mean when when you the moment that we start external and um, focusing on external um, substances outside ourselves that's when we're being a fucking loser Be i mean because most people say oh yeah life isn't about winning and losing but the truth is life is all about winning and losing and anyone who says otherwise is just living a complete fucking loser mediocre type of lifestyle and so we want to so type a why if you want to be a winner and not a loser because i know i certainly want to be a winner not a loser and by allowing these dark energies to take control and not dealing with it then then you're being a fucking loser but by dealing with that then that's how you be that's how you become a winner and that's when everything will fall into place in your life as well and so to clear that as i mentioned it's it comes back to coming back to the light but also focusing on your path and your purpose and and speaking your truth um, without any fear or guilt of what other people think because it's far better to piss someone else off than piss yourself off because the people because outside people you can remove them from your life if you choose to but as soon as you piss yourself off you have to live with this you have to live in your own skin and all it's going to do is build the resentment and the anger and what you wished you did until one day it, man it explodes like a volcano and you manifest cancer or a beautiful disease or something like that which i'm sure none of you are keen to manifest at all and of course the uh, and of course energy work as well is how you can clear the the negative and the dark energies because with, um, when you're doing the energy work then you're, you're connecting with those higher councils the ascended masters and you need to make sure though that it's you you don't fall under false spirit guides so that's why you've all noticed that i always do like a ritual before i do the clearing because it sets up that protection and it and it makes sure that no false spirit guides and the dark spirits can come in and interfere and meddle with it and so so what i'll do is i'll bring up the energy code just before we do the clearing but ultimately i mean uh, when it comes to these negative and, and dark energies what we're really doing is is coming away from the dark and back into the light but it goes beyond that it's also shaping your life it's shaping your destiny and it's unlosering or unidioting you so to speak 
So because, I mean, I'm sure that you'd all agree that most people in the world are complete losers and complete morons and don't and have no fucking clue when it comes to this kind of stuff. And so, what, so that's what we are here to do, to become strong inside and outside. Because by clearing these dark energies and dealing and facing with our shit truly, it makes us strong. It makes us tough, but it also softens us as well. Because it's great because we need to be strong. We need to kick ass, but we also need to have that love, that compassion and that, that softness in the heart as well. So we need a fine balance because ultimately people for centuries, the world and people have keep swinging between extremes. They're either too oppressive or too love and light kind of crap. And so what we're here is to bring a balanced community with light and the dark. Because we all have light and dark inside us, whether you'll admit it or not. It's just a matter of using them for their intended purposes and using it properly. Okay, so does anyone have any questions or comments before we get into the clearing? Lily, all good? Gail, no. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll do the clearing. So everyone focus on this code and inhale the code into your chakras and your aura and into your body as well. Just imagine it there and close your eyes. And just start taking deep breaths and relaxing your mind. We now call upon the divine protection and the bright white pyramid surrounding me and each person here. And we call upon the five archangels, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Metatron. And we call in Christ and mother Mary and call in God. And only those who are aligned with the word of God and the Christ consciousness. And we clear and repel any false spirit guides, negative energies, outside interferences, or anything else related now. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that each person here, uh, this energy co clearing code be used to clear any dark energy and negative energies from each person here that, uh, that's, been, that's been stored in their body or their auras or their chakras. So inhale, draw out the dark and negative energies and draw out the poison within them and lift off any heaviness or flatness as well. And we now evaporate that with the golden liquid light and bring them back to Christ and the high councils now to Asia in today.
We also can't sever any draining energy cords along with any entities or attachments associated with it. We now re-energize each person here and bring back their vital force energy. We pour in the golden liquid light and send in the love from the higher father and the higher mother and rebalance each person here into their light and their dark sides, help them to balance it and create a balanced, a balanced light and dark inside them and for the people and help them to be able to do it for the people around them as well. help them to be able to support people when it's needed and when the people ask. So we bring each person into awareness of their purpose and who they are and to connect with you, Lord, to create a strong connection there. Bring peace to each person here in their mind, body, and spirit. Okay, so how's everyone feeling after that clearing? Gail felt my spine straighten out again. It's great, thanks. Oh, wow, that's really great, Gail. It's great to see your spine straightening and your posture. It's awesome. And Lily says, yes, I got that too. But wow, so it sounds like everyone's getting their spine straightened out. <laughs> So it's just, if it's around the spine in the back, it sounds like you guys have just been lacking the support and it sounds like you're getting it now. And, and, it's, and it's a great feeling. It's always a great thing. Especially in a world today where everyone's so focused on living their own lives, being independent, but yet, it's, but yet there's the breakdown of the community. Because we do need moments where we need to be alone, but we also need moments where we need the community support. And as strong as anyone may be, we all need support. We all need it. So it's important that we all get it and make sure we take care of ourselves too, especially when you do this energy work. So everyone now just take a glass of water just to integrate the session. <laughs> Okay, so any final questions or comments before we end for today? Gail, all good. Thank you, William. Yep, thanks, Gail. Okay, so no further questions or comments. Well, thanks again, everyone. Another great webinar and another great clearing. It was great to see everyone's spines being straightened out.
and uh, I'll see, and I'll see you all in the next one. Lily, thanks, William. Wonderful clearing. Yep, thanks, Lily. I certainly agree with that statement. So, so thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.